have a special video for you guys. We transformed these LOL dolls into Anna and Elsa from Frozen. But they're not regular Elsa and Anna. These are special versions of them. They look just like in the trailer of Olaf's Frozen Adventure. I love it! We watched the trailer and it looks so amazing. Olaf is trying to find new holiday traditions for Anna and Elsa on Christmas. It's my fault we don't have a family tradition. They wear gorgeous dresses in the trailer, so we decided to transform our LOL dolls to look just like them. And we also made a mini version of Elsa with a little sister. Please join us to watch how we did these three transformations. Give us a like if you like them and write in the comments which one was your favorite. Time to start with our transformations! Our first transformation from Olaf's Frozen Adventure is going to be Anna. We picked this LOL surprise doll for a transformation, and we have this beautiful Disney doll that we'll use as reference to make modifications on our little doll. Start by cutting the little brace of our doll's head. Now we're going to begin modeling Nana's hair. This time she doesn't wear braids like she did in Frozen. Instead, she has a beautiful hair up though. This time we're using air dried clay to model it. Anna's hairstyle is almost done. We're using a stick to create strands of hair on her bangs and on the back to make it look more real. On top of her head, Anna has a crown twisted braid. Make a thin roll of clay and then twist it to form it. Anna is wearing tall boots, so we'll add more clay above her little shoes to make them look like boots. to model the rest of Anna's outfit. Now we're modeling around her neck the color of the short jacket she wears. Put clay around her neck and remove the excess with a stick. Use fine scissors to remove the little bows on her LOL doll dress. Now around her little doll's waist, we'll put more clay to form the belt Anna wears. Use a stick to remove clay excess and to make the belt super smooth. You can see here that Anna has a blue crown ornament with leaves, so we're going to model one for our LOL doll. This is how the hair ornament is looking. First we model the little leaves with clay and then we're going to add them one by one behind the twisted crown braid. Be super gentle so the leaves don't lose their shape. Next, we're going to paint Anna's tall boots with blue, and then we'll move on to work on her skin. Let's start painting Anna's face. We mix different colors to create Anna's skin tone. Her skin tone is a little bit more pinkish than Elsa's. We're going to paint all her skin with this color. We previously painted her legs with white to use as base color. The paint on her skin and the clay are dry, so we're going to start painting Anna's hair. We created this dark orange color that is very similar to Anna's real hair. We're using dark aqua color to paint Anna's beautiful hair ornament. Use a thin brush to paint the little leaf. Paint with light blue color Anna's arms to make the long sleeves of her jacket. Paint also the skirt of the dress. For her waistband, we're going to use dark purple color. Using a lighter shade of aqua color than the one we used for the hair ornament, we're going to paint Anna's blouse. Our doll has big blue eyes similar to Anna's, but we're still going to change the color so they look more greenish. We'll also paint more details on her face. Using a super thin brush, we're painting the little red figures Anna has on her dress. You can see that we already added some white details to her dress and finally we're going to paint decorations on her boots and on her little belt. Use blue to paint the little belts on her dress. She's almost done! Hannah looks gorgeous! Her freckles are adorable, and all her outfit has a lot of little details. I love the hair ornament. Wow, we're making really good time! We're going to 
going to use this little sister doll for our next transformation and it is going to be a super cute baby Elsa with all her little hair bones. Once we remove the hair bones, we'll apply clay on top of her head to model Elsa's hair. This is how baby Elsa's beautiful braid is looking. Form the braid on the back of her head with the help of a stick. We're almost done modeling the hair. Use a stick to form the strands of hair on the top part of her head. The next thing we're going to do is to paint all her skin. We're using a super pale skin color for baby Elsa. We waited for the clay to dry and now we're painting Elsa's blonde hair with a mix we made. We used yellow, white and a little bit of orange to create this light green color. This is our version of Elsa as a baby. So for her clothes, we're only going to paint the little sister diaper dark blue like the color of Elsa's dress. With a piece of white plush fabric, we're going to create a little stall for our little sister to imitate the top of Elsa's dress. We already cut here a tiny piece of plush fabric. Put it around her neck to measure the exact size of the little stall. Once we have the exact size of the plush doll, we're going to glue it around her little neck. Our little sister has big brown eyes, so we need to change their color so they match with Elsa's blue eyes. Use a thin brush to paint them blue. Paint also the eyelashes. Let's add the details to baby Elsa's little color. Grab glue glitter with a toothpick and apply glitter dots all over the plush fabric. They are super small decorations, so take your time to do it. We model with clay these tiny leaves for Elsa's hair ornament. Now we're painting it with dark aqua color. Finally, for baby Elsa's cape, we have this sparkly silver tool fabric. First, we're painting it blue and then we're going to cut it to form the cape. Here she is, our little sister doll costume into baby Elsa. We also painted her pacifier with silver paint and added some extra details to the hair ornament and she looks so pretty. For the third and final transformation, we're going to use this LOL surprise doll and we're going to turn her into Elsa from Olaf's Frozen Adventure. Okay, I'm Christmas. We have this Disney collection Elsa doll that we'll use as guide for our transformation. Let's start by cutting all her little hair bones. Using air dry clay, we're going to cover our doll's head and we'll start modeling Elsa's hairstyle. This is how it's looking. We're using a stick to form the details of the braid. I love Elsa's long, flowy braid, don't you? Form little rolls of clay and add them on the top part of the head of the doll to create volume on the front part of her bangs. On top of the LOL clothes, we use foam to make the skirt of the dress much longer. And what we're going to do next is to paint all her skin with a thin brush. Elsa's skin is a little bit lighter than Anna's. When the clay is completely dry, we're going to paint Elsa's braid. We're using the same paint we use for baby Elsa's hair. She has beautiful platinum blonde hair. Now we're applying white paint all over Elsa's dress. We're doing this to use it as base color and then when the white dries and we paint it with the original main blue color of Elsa's dress, it will look so much better. The white paint on the dress is dry. Now we're using dark blue to paint the dress again. I'm so excited for you to see the final look of our Elsa transformation. Look at this cute hair ornament we made for Elsa. We formed the little leaves with clay and we even added tiny berries. Now we just need to paint it. Use dark blue for the leaves and red for the berries. Here we have the piece of plush fabric we're going to use for the top part of Elsa's dress. Now we're just going to cut the excess to make it look nicer. When we have the shape that we want, we can finally glue it around Elsa's neck. 
it is all coming together. Now we just need to add the final touches. It's time to change our LOL doll's eyes. Let's cover the brown on her eyes using a thin brush and blue color. Add details with white and paint also her lashes. She's looking so pretty. Next, just like we did with the solo baby Elsa, we're using a toothpick and glue glitter to add little sparkly dots to the white plush fabric. That, in this case, is the top part of Elsa's dress. Finally, I draw the design on the dress with silver paint, and for her cape, we're using the rest of the sparkly tulle fabric we used for baby Elsa's cape. Elsa is ready! This is our LOL doll version of Elsa from All Apps Frozen Adventure. She looks so gorgeous! I really, really love the design we did on her dress! Yay! This is the final look of our LOL dolls, guys! We had so much fun doing these transformations! I think we did a great job modeling their hairstyles, and I love how the little glittery solo of Elsa looks! Leave in the comments below what was your favorite dog. Did you like the trailer of All Labs Frozen Adventure? We are super excited because very soon we'll be able to finally see the complete short film. Please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Share the video with your friends and leave us a comment if you like this video. Don't miss any of our future videos because we have a lot of surprises for you guys. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.